Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, welcome to the team call. I guess you guys are going to be watching this later. Um, and as you can see from my appearance, I quickly got in my workout and quickly showered and ran down here to host a call. And um, I think I've said this every week for the past couple of weeks, but it would really mean a lot to me if you guys would either, you know, if you tell me that I put out a poll originally to find out what days and times were best for you guys, and this was the winner. So if this is no longer, Wednesday is no longer a good day, I'll put in another poll and we can vote on it. Um, but I'm making it a priority to show up for you guys, to make myself available. Trust me, I have a lot of things on my plate right now, as I'm sure you do. Um, and I'm asking, you know, I try to make myself as available to all of you as humanly possible. Um, so I'm asking you to try to make yourself available to me because all I'm trying to do is help you. And it's just super frustrating sometimes when I'm really trying to prioritize. Like I have my boyfriend making dinner so that I could be on this call and make myself available to you guys. You can see I like mascara on my face. My hair is so sweaty. I'm wearing an inappropriate t-shirt, but whatever. Um, so I just want to make sure that um, if this is not a, a convenient time for for you guys, then tell me and we'll find another time. So um, I'm going to record the call and just go through a couple of things that um, have come up recently. Um, I've posted in the team page all of the specials for the month of April. Um, and there are some promotions so that if you have someone that wants to join you in a challenge, then... Um, if you get to Success Club 5 or greater, you get some prizes from Beachbody. Last month, I got, uh, I think I shared it last time what I got, but last month the prize was um, a sampler pack of every item in the performance line. And you get that. And when you look at Success Club, it should be a non-negotiable. I'm telling you that if you don't like paying for your Shakeology, the easiest way to do that is to sign um, get people to um, want to join you in a challenge because by the third one, your Shakeology is paid for. I haven't paid for my Shakeology in, since August, since August, I haven't paid for my Shakeology. So that's the easiest way to get it for free if you don't want to pay for it. The awesome thing um, is that there is an option now for this month. One of the specials is Hammer and Chisel. That is, um, it's a Hammer and Chisel Challenge Pack. And folks have the option to either choose Shakeology if they want to. There are some people who just don't like it. So if they don't like the Shakeology, then they can actually choose something from the performance line. They'll get the pre-workout and the recover. Um, and we try not to use beach body terms because it just doesn't I don't know, it just doesn't work so I just usually call my pre-workout it's awesome if you haven't tried it then definitely give it a try um, I'm trying to think of what else so um, for those of you who didn't well I'm the only one that really attended a, a beach body super Saturday in Baltimore it was held on Sunday it was really awesome it was the first time I had ever gone to an event and there is going to be another one in August and I recommend that if you can make yourself available please come and join me. It's like $15 to go. It's a few hours, like three or four hours. And there were a couple of um, big co uh, coaches. So um, Robert Hudgens, who is a cast member in 22 Minute Hardcore, is one of the original Beachbody coaches. And he was there basically talking about his experiences. And, um, you know, if you want to succeed, regardless of whether it's in life or um, doing this as a business or doing well in your program, whatever that is, you don't sleep until you succeed because while you're sleeping, that's when other people are succeeding. And that was really, um, really good advice. So it was really awesome to just see a whole bunch of other coaches, like hundreds of people, all like all doing a workout together. So it was a day of you know, information and um, some motivational speakers, some information about things that are coming up. And then um, it was a workout. So we did a 22 minute hardcore workout. And believe me, when someone is yelling at you to do 25 push ups, it doesn't matter how tired you are, the competition of not going down to your knees is enough to keep you going. Because I had already done that same workout the day before, and my arms were like jello, but I did the damn push ups anyway. So um, it's sort of like a lot about life, right? So um, you know, people complain that they don't like 
um, some of the workouts. Well, you want to get fit. So I don't always like my workouts. I don't wake up every day saying, yes, I'll have to work out today. No, today I was tired. I didn't want to work out, but I did the damn thing anyway. Why? Because I made a commitment to myself, but I've also made a commitment to the people in my challenge group, and I've made a commitment to you guys so that I'm going to walk the walk just like you. You know what? Sometimes I don't like my Shakeology, but you know what? It's not my job not to, it's my job to drink it, and I'm going to do it anyway because I know that I need it. I know that it's good for me, and I know that it's preventing me from eating a whole crap ton of other stuff. So I'm going to drink it. Same thing. Getting healthy, getting fit, getting successful, um, making extra money. None of that stuff is easy. And sometimes there are things that you have to do in order to get to the goal that you want. And if you're not willing to do them, then you're never going to be successful. Saying it and putting it out to the universe is only one step. You actually have to follow through with actions. So I thought that was really, really, um, really, really telling. And it really resonated with me because there are some days I just don't feel it. And I'm sure there are some days that you don't want to work out. You don't want to drink shake. You just want to sit around and sit on your ass and watch TV and eat whatever. Cool. I want to do that too, but I don't, I make a conscious choice because I want to be successful not to do those things. So the choice is yours. Um, and so he, Robert Hudgens, um, I really actually liked his speaking the best because he broke things down into really four, four steps. One of them, to be successful, regardless of whether you work the business or not, is push play every day. Start a program and finish it till completion. Don't skip the workouts. Do it. If you're doing 22-minute hardcore, awesome. Do it every day. Even if you're taking spin or you're doing whatever, it's 22 minutes. It's nothing. Do it. You'd be glad you did. Most of the works that we offer are anywhere between, you know, 22 and 45 minutes, with the exception of some of the older P90X videos, which are about an hour at a time. And if you have time to do those, more power to you. If you don't, pick something that's shorter and follow it from start to finish. Number two, drink your shape. If you don't like the flavor, find another one. Try them all. Buy a sampler box. Add stuff to it to make it taste better. Chug it. It's better than the alternative, right? It's better than not eating. It's better than stopping at the Royal Farms and picking up a breakfast sandwich. It's better than eating a McDonald's. So it's something. You need to fuel your body. That is the easiest meal of the day. It's got protein, dense nutrition, all that stuff. Suck it up and do it. That's basically what he said. Number three, read a book. So personal development is huge in Beachbody. And I can tell you that it's huge for me. Some of you that I know um, know that I've been having some issues. My mom is real ill, um, and I'm having some issues with my full-time job. And so I've been really trying to focus on making it a priority to do some personal development. The Beachbody sort of rules of the road are 10 minutes. 10 minutes a day where you're goofing off on Facebook or doing something that you could read a book. I'm going to post a list of personal development books in the chat, but they can be broken down into a bunch of different things. Um, understand Understanding the business of network marketing a bit, um, daily discipline and time management, um, mindset, um, relationships, social media, goal setting, um, leadership, any of those kinds of things. Because the reality is you can't expect people to follow you and along your journey if you're not putting those vibes out. So I'm going to tell you that I, I, I think I posted about this last week that I'm currently reading two different books, one about network marketing because I do marketing for uh, a living, but uh, sort of understanding the, the networking side of it. Um, it's called GoPro and the other book is called Girl Boss and it's just about um, a self-made lady boss, I guess. But I'll post a bunch of these books in uh, a list in our chat and if you can't ever find a topic of conversation all you need to do is go up to the top right and, and search for it and it should give you that list but I definitely recommend picking up a book and reading it um, even if a line or two resonate with you it will help you on your way regardless of whether it's in this business or in life number four while you're doing a program invite someone to do it with you 
some of you have been awesome about Tori has been awesome about posting a picture of her workout or after a workout in a regular Facebook page and just saying, Oh my God, I just totally got my ass kicked. Um, and that is the best way to get support. When people around you know that you're doing something, it helps to make you accountable. When you don't post in your challenge group, that takes the accountability out of it. Um, I know Tracy and Susie have both been doing really well about posting in their respective challenge groups. So post, you get more out of it when you put into it. Alexis has also been really great. I know Alexis is working right now, so she's not on my phone. Um, so those are the big, the big takeaways. Um, so for things that are coming up, um, I'm starting, uh, starting to start another challenge group the week of April 18th that may be pushed back um, a week if we don't have enough folks. If you're interested, I don't really care what program it is, pick a program. If you want to do it with us, tell me and I'll add you to the group. Um, we're going to have um, my success partner, Rachel, and I are going to be hosting a um, what is coaching call, an inside look into what it is that we do as coaches for you guys and for our other challengers on, um, oh gosh, next Thursday at 8 p.m. our time. Um, and it's going to be 5 p.m. Rachel's time. So Rachel is in Oregon, so we're, she's Pacific time, more Eastern time. So 8 p.m. our time. Please let me know if you can attend. If you have someone that's been coming to you that's interested in getting involved um, and you know is asking you about your programs and what you're doing, invite them. Um, it's a really good insight into what we do, how this works, what challenge groups look like, things along those lines. So um, please attend so that it's not just Rachel and I talking to each other on a Zoom call like I'm talking to myself now. Um, and let's see, what else? Summit's coming up. Um, there is an annual beach body convention in Nashville every year. It's um, called Summit. It will be taking place in July. I think you can still get on a wait list if you want to go. It's pretty awesome. All the master trainers go. I haven't been. Um, I'm on the wait list right now. So if you sign up, you'll be in the wait list too. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have to share with you guys. Not a whole lot. Um, I'm just trying to make myself available to you guys. So if there's something that you need from me, um, support, help, questions, come and talk to me. Um, I'm still your coach and um, I can only help you if I know that you need help. Um, and again, if this time isn't good for you, I'll put a poll, another poll up in the group. Um, tell me and we'll find another time. But I really want Pat, you guys to try to sort of make this a priority because I'm here for you and I'm making you a priority. Um, and so I'm asking for you to make yourselves a priority. Um, and I am going to cut it off for there. And um, hopefully I'll get some feedback. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, if there are things that you want to talk about, please let me know. Otherwise, I will peace out and talk to you guys later.